What's what? up? Welcome what? back to that Order Experience, everybody! What are you doing? We can't both make sure that we just, 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 just like, chill out for a little bit or something. Anyways, we got the camera back. We're super excited to start vlogging again. Uh, little mishap. Dude, come on. You're so distracting. What? Why don't you just leave? Why don't you go wax the truck or something? Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, uh, today's video, we're going to do a little overview of what I carry as a woman snowmobiling. Um, the basics, the goods, the things that you guys might want to take with you that you might not be taking with you. So follow along with us. Obviously, the basics of safety equipment. Safety equipment is huge. I carry an avalanche bag. The three most important things that you need to carry, a beacon. I specifically don't like to ride with people that don't carry a beacon. Not only would I not be able to find them, but they couldn't find me in an avalanche situation. So this is extremely important in the bag is your shovel and probe. These are outlined with the red zippers on each side that you guys can see. When you take an avalanche class, they show you that when you're wearing your bag, you shouldn't have to take it off. Somebody that you're with, hopefully you have extra people with you in case of a scenario like that. Know to go for the red zippers, unzip it, and get your shovel or your probe out for you. Those are the three most important things that you should carry with you. Aside from your helmet, goggles, gloves, waterproof, snow apparel, DSG makes amazing women's snowmobile gear. So make sure to go check that out. Shovel, beacon, probe. Always carry those things. You bought a sled, you bought the gear, you look awesome, but you need the safety equipment that goes along with it. Avalanche bags step up that safety aspect just a little bit more. They're expensive, but it's kind of just one more step. Sorry guys, I just want to say I'm filming by myself today, so it's hard to switch from the tripod to the vlogging camera to everything else, so bear with me. In my Avi bag, extra gloves. I have been known to be a little bit of a glove whore. An extra fleece balaclava. It's nice when it's really cold. My thick gloves, so these are my last resort usually. With my grip heaters and everything else, I can usually get away with wearing my thinner pair of gloves. These are for cold trail rides up to the top or back. A lot of times it's late when we come home. Uh, extra socks, right? There's creeks, there's your feet get wet. If you have to stay overnight, something bad happens to somebody, extra socks. Way down in here, Extra pair of long johns. Again, you get wet, you get cold. Sometimes you, if you get an emergency situation, you have to stay the night. A nice extra dry pair of long johns goes a long way. A uh, bivy bag. Uh, if you don't know what a bivy bag is, it's basically a sleeping bag in a bag that rolls up super tight. It's lightweight. It's like a sleeping bag. Pretty inexpensive. This is the air canister for my airbag. I carry multiple kinds of fire starters. So I bought this fire starter kit. It's got a flint lighter in it, some puffs. Actually, I actually haven't played with them yet. Maybe we should do a video on fire starting. Being a woman, sometimes the guys kind of take that over. Don't be afraid to jump in, learn how to make a fire for those of you guys that don't. Not trying to offend anybody. I personally like starting fires. So anyways, back to the bag. Granola bar. I put all of my lunch in my bag that I wear, and that's important to me in case I ever became separated from my snowmobile. And you'll probably hear me say that a couple times during this video, the things I carry on my person, so my backpack, my jacket, my pants, things like that, in case this ended up down a ravine or in a creek or I couldn't get to it for some reason. So anyways, cotton balls. Cotton balls are super cheap. Get them at Walmart. Get some Vaseline. Roll them in Vaseline. You'd be amazed at what kind of fire you can make with these. Those are pretty awesome. So that's fire starter number two that I carry in my bag. Here I've got extra batteries, lanyards, uh, a whistle, 
some foil, the book for my Garmin, which we'll go over in a little bit, and the book for my Avi bag, but worst case scenario, you can use that for fire starter too if you had to. Also, I'm not that smart, so I like to have the instructions in case I got lost or needed them. Sorry, the camera's still not focusing. Anyways, a couple little things I carry in there. Emergency first aid kit. This is huge. I carry a first aid kit on my person that's got the basics. And then one of my sled too that's got gauze and you know bigger packages of things. Your aspirins, your low dose things that you might need, tourniquets, a lot of other things, like tampons, right? So as a woman, you gotta carry tampons. Tampons are also good for fire starter. Uh, they're good for stopping bleeding, like you get gouged somewhere and you're bleeding out. Uh, you can stick a tampon in there. I've actually seen a couple videos where that's happened. If you haven't seen the video where I accidentally dropped a tampon in my husband's gas tank trying to start a fire, just stopped for lunch one day. I'll put the link in the description below. We were in Island Park. That was kind of a shit show. Anyway, so first aid kit. More batteries, an extra lighter. I'm huge on carrying multiple fire sources, ways to start fires, more batteries, lots of tampons. So there's two more lighters in there. And that's about it for the interior of this bag. And then on the outside of the bag, Ortobox makes an awesome airbag. They also make an awesome, just an everyday snowmobiling backpack. Shovel, shovel handle, slams together. Your probe fits in here. I carry a little bit of extra mountain money, some dry snacks, just another good food source. I usually don't keep it in this section just because I try to keep that simple shovel beacon probe. So in the top part of my backpack, flashlight, waterproof matches with a striker. Again, multiple sources of starting a fire. And then a multi-tool that also has a flint piece on it. It might be redundant, but I don't want to be stuck wet and cold and not be able to figure this out and this is this stuff's important to me. Some more batteries. We carry radios, we carry a spot device, we carry a Garmin GPS and then also the registration for my sled stays it with me. Uh, heat packs, right? Little things that you break up, you put in your gloves, your, your feet, whatever a goggle wipe. So those are just a couple more things that are thin and light. I like to keep with me in my bag at all times. Can be a little bit heavy. What I like about this bag, it's got the chest mount straps right here that click in, and then you've got your waist piece right here. So really, once it's centered on your body, you're not carrying as much weight. I have a lot of neck issues from racing back in the day and crashing, and this backpack really uh, doesn't bother me a whole heck of a lot. So keep that in mind. Doesn't matter what you carry, as long as you carry a shovel, a beacon, and a probe. Carry it on your body. Don't carry it on your sled. Keep it with you. Take an avalanche class. I can't really preach a whole lot more than other than safety is number one. So anyways, moving on to the rest of the stuff of my sled. Look at these sweet stickers my friend made for me. That's my dog, Huck. Right there on the collar, it says, Huck you. Dash bag. The dash bag is vented so the heat rises up and comes in. I carry a beanie. These are the things that you want to carry with you that are going to stay warm. This just happens to be a Divas beanie. I'm not gear biased, but I really like their brand. This thing's nice and thick. It's fleece line. Love that thing. It's a good piece of gear. So I'm obviously into video. I carry my Garmin Verb in there. That's a good way to keep your batteries warm. They're lithium, they don't like the cold, so we keep those in there. A mask. I wear a balaclava. I do not like being constricted. These things are nice and short. They fit my face. There's nothing over my head. Here's my balaclava that goes under my helmet. When you get to the trail in the morning, it's kind of cold. Phone charger. I do like to be able to charge my extra batteries for my cameras, uh, my cell phone. In emergency situations, we don't generally get service where we're at, but your phone still works off GPS, so 
carry one of these. Extra gloves, again, I'm a glove whore. I like nice, warm, dry gloves. That's a, yep, that's about it for there. Oh, if you can see in there, it's a pretty big compartment. It's vented. Couple things, oh look, more glove, glove whore. Uh, also a goggle whore. I carry about three pairs of goggles, and I'll carry a pair of goggles in this dash bag, which, I'm not a fan of because every time you open it, snow comes in. It's really hard to clip down here with gloves on. Your handlebars are turned when you stop. I carry my spot. We've used it. It works. We've accidentally used it several times. It does cost a lot of money. You can do an in-reach. You can do a lot of things. Um, but being able to get a hold of people, tell people where you're at, you need help, life flight, it doesn't matter. Spot's a good way to go. Garmin in-reach is one that... I'm actually looking at because you can cancel the service when you're not using it. For us being on the water all summer, dirt bike riding, snowmobiling, all those things that we do, I just keep that subscription going. Garmin, Garmin GPS. I'm personally terrified of being lost to the point where sometimes it can ruin my ride. This is ease of mind. I can ping my husband, whoever else has one, I can ping them too, we can talk to each other. It shows me out where they're on the map. Really useful tool for me personally. Any two-way radio will work, honestly. You don't wanna be stuck somewhere and somebody's on the top of the ridge somewhere else and they can't find you. That's a day ruiner. I don't carry this in in here but i wanted to show it to you guys they make shiwis they make all kinds of different versions of these this is called a pea style i've practiced with it i've gotten pretty good with it not that i mind squatting in the woods somewhere doing my business but this makes it easy especially wearing a mono suit trying to wrap it up underneath you trying to pee this just saves you time and hassle i keep it in a ziploc bag I actually got this off of Amazon for $11. Okay, it says a stand to pee device ideal for sports and recreation, travel, outdoor occupants, physical restrictions, and public events. Drink more water. So super handy, super clean. Anyways, so those are the things I keep in there. All right, you're still with me? If you're still with me, make sure to subscribe down in the in the corner there again this is really hard to do by myself but we're gonna make it work and here we go under seat back in here i carry toe straps one bag here's got your crescent wrenches your snip i carry two kinds of saws we've been running into a lot of trees and if you haven't seen my videos before you should go back and check them out rope zip ties screwdrivers specific sockets so it doesn't take a lot of tools, it just takes the right tools. So I keep those in there, that's a specific for me. Um, I can also throw wet gloves, things that um, can be mixed up with my tools in there when I'm done using them. Again, multiple pair of gloves for me. I'm in the snow digging, doing things, helping people, and I just throw them in there with the tools and I dry them out when I get home. Not a big deal. Let's move on to the tunnel bag. My tunnel bag weighs around eight pounds, and that sounds like a lot to some people, but it carries a lot of the things that I can't carry on my person, but I also might need, including my extra water. One thing I forgot to mention on my backpack is I always carry some water on my person, again, in case I lost my sled for some reason. This is a skins bag, and I keep a lot of stuff in here. I've got a bag, another fire starter, trash bags, obviously the cords that I need for charging, hand sanitizers, another Ziploc, has another beanie, gloves, an extra ball of clava, in a Ziploc bag to keep them dry. Mountain money, my gun. We ride into our cabin and we usually get there Friday night and it's eight miles in, eight miles out. It's dark, I've had wolves jump out in front of me. Even dirt bike riding, I carry this. This is a 40, a Glock. I do carry a gun. You don't have to. Gives me peace of mind along with the spot, the Avi bag, shovel, beacon probe. That's part of my number one safety gear. Some more tools. I've got tape, I've got rope, I've got horse marking tape that we use in the desert in case we ever get in a whiteout situation or we're lost, turned around. You can mark trees that way. Middle cup for boiling water in case you ever got stuck. 
That goes right along with just some urgency food, hot chocolate, top ramen, another thing of fire starter. So when we go get firewood, we take the shavings, dip them in diesel oil or any kind of oil really. This burns really well. Air seat, I know this seems excessive, but when you want somewhere dry to sit when you're working on stuff, things like that, it's super lightweight. I like to carry that. Emergency blanket, you can make a tent out of it, you can lay on it, you can cover up with it, it's reflective for calling people in. This back piece right here, which detaches, I do like this about this bag. This is where I keep a lot of my water, my drinks. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please go like and subscribe. Hopefully this helped some of you guys kind of figure out what to carry. I love riding with my husband. I usually ride with a big group of people. When in doubt, we pretty much have everything we need, but I like to ride with the things in case I was stuck by myself. Might seem extensive, the gloves, all the lighters, all the fire starters, things like that. Comment below what do you guys carry that you haven't seen in this video. I'm really curious. I'm always expanding on what I should carry with me, trying to lighten up my tool pack, trying to lighten up my backpack, things like that. But I really appreciate your guys' support. Come back, see us again. Can't wait, bye.